It's Photo Man Man. How y'all doing on this gorgeous 33 degree day? You can see a little bit of the snow still left where it snowed yesterday. Most of it's melted away, but there still is some left. The sun came out, melted it away. Out on the sporty today with no particular place to go. Just out riding for a little short ride. Been out for a little bit. It is a little bit chilly. I did not wear anything underneath my pants like I normally have under armor on underneath of it because of the temperature. And I don't have my pin lock in my face shield and I don't have my chin skirt. So it is a little bit nippy outside. Forehead's a little bit cold. But anyway, it is what it is, and what it is is cold. <laughs> oh man. But it is that time of year. I, I did decide to wear a sweatshirt underneath my jacket. And I do have my gauntlet gloves on. So that helps. A uh, little bit of fogginess. starting to clear up anyway we're gonna have to put the clear face shield on and the pin lock back in here soon but anyway hope, hopefully you guys have a little bit warmer weather and you're able to get out on too even if it isn't warmer hopefully you get out on too got a little bit of salt on the road. I have to clean the bike off when I get home. But whatever. And I've talked about this before. The Sporty is still carbureted. This is a 1997 so it is carbureted and it's not always happy out in the cold. But you, you do what you gotta do. Now a little bit of an update. I talked in one of my previous videos about the fact that uh, the IX Center in Cleveland, or wherever it actually is in the Cleveland suburbs, that it was closing. And that's where the Progressive International Motorcycle Show normally is. Well, I did a little bit of research, and it's not going to be there. But it looks like what they're going to do, and I think a lot of it has to do with COVID, they're going to start doing an international motorcycle show outside with vendor tents and things of that sort. And one of the things that they've said, that they said in, in what I read was that it would make it easier for them to do like the electric bike rides and do demo rides on other bikes. And that it, while that is true, I think it's probably got more to do with COVID than anything else and being able to find a place and a way to do it. Um, now, obviously, that does mean that there's still changes for us here in Ohio because you ain't doing an outside motorcycle show in January like they had been doing. That just ain't going to work. There's no way you're doing demo rides in Cleveland, Ohio, outside in January. I mean, my crazy butt might do it, but you ain't gonna get a whole lot of other people doing it. I don't think you're gonna get the vendors wanting to stand outside in that, or the people wanting to come and deal with it. So, I don't know when they're gonna have it. They haven't put out their their list of dates and whatnot but apparently it's still going to happen just like everything else today differently than what it has been in the past mirror must have got knocked a little bit in the garage or something that's better but anyway and oh yes for all of you out there i did check the air pressure in this 40 before taking it out and 
man, I had to add five pounds of air pressure to the front tire again. I don't know what's up with that. But anyway, put some air in it and you now we're good to go. But it, after that last fiasco of feeling like I had a low tire and thinking it was a rear one, only to find out it was the front one, I've been a whole lot more conscientious about checking the air pressure in this bike. And like I've said before, I mean, I, I'll be honest, I used to check it religiously, but I went a couple of years without having to add any air to it. So, you know, a significant amount. I mean, a pound here, a pound there. I mean, hell, that could be a difference in the air gauges. But anyway, I, I got lazy. I mean, the VFR, I have to check it every time I take it out because... It, it's got a slow leak, and I think it's around the bead. And the Yamaha just doesn't get ridden as much as I'd like to, so it's got its own set of issues with the air pressure. But anyway, did check the air, got it set right, good to go. Won't make that mistake again. Not going to be out too long today because. Like I said, didn't wear the Under Armour underneath my pants, and it's getting really, really chilly down there in the nether regions. <laughs> so, we're going to have to have to make this one a shorty. Other than talking about the changes with when it comes to the IMS, I ain't going to bring up that 19 thing anymore. Not on this ride at least. Come on. There's been a lot of changes with that and I fear that it's going to be more. But anyway, don't want to dwell on the negatives. Yep, see what I'm see what I'm talking about? It, it, the sporty. When I first start taking it out when it's cold, it, it, it coughs and sputters and shit. And I did let it warm up for quite a bit, so that shouldn't be the issue. I mean, I got a oil temperature gauge on my oil bag here and it had sufficiently warmed up so like I said it's carbureted not real happy about it the VFR does a little bit better in the cold but it takes forever to warm up the tires so I don't take it out as much I do take it out but not as much as I do normally the sporty give it a couple of times taking it out in the cold and and she'll be just fine. Don't see Corvairs very often. But anyway, it is nice to get out. It'll be nice to get back in the house to get warm. But it is nice to take it out. Like I like I've said many times before, if. If the roads are clear, I'll take a, I'll take a bike out. And I, I said earlier in, in a replying to a comment that on the, on YouTube that uh, if I don't go out, even though the roads may have a little bit of salt on it, nobody wants to be around me because I get salty if I don't get out on two. gonna have to make some changes as far as the cold weather ride you know what you can look to make sure ain't nobody coming there uh, Amazon Prime truck oh there is one thing I wanted to talk about one of my huge pet peeves mail trucks 
Oh my God. It's taking my youngest girl to the dentist today. And we went to pass a mail truck that was sitting at, at a mailbox. And look, I mean, we're on these country roads. I mean, so the mail truck's just pulling up the thing. They don't use a blinker. They don't look. They just, as soon as they shut the mailbox door, they just pull out. We almost got tagged by a damn mail truck. And it happens all the time. I mean, it's not so bad when you're on the bike because obviously, you know, mail truck's way over here. So I can, you know, swing out and go by. You know, I can move over a little bit more than you can in the car, but good God almighty. Drives me nuts. But anyway, I'm about to end this. My lips are getting numb. <laughs> And unfortunately, that ain't the only thing that's getting numb. So, I'm gonna head back to the house. I hope y'all enjoyed this. I hope you got some, some laughs or some giggles at my stupid butt being out here at 33 degrees without Under Armour and whatnot on. <laughs> if you did, make sure you click that like and subscribe button and punch that bell so you get notifications whenever I upload any new content. If you're able to get out on two, remember, keep the shiny side up and the rubber side down. And I hope you have an awesome day. Oh, and one last thing. I will say something about the, the COVID crap. And that's, you know, remember everybody. Yep. Yeah, I know. The dumbass in a Mustang pulled out too far, lady. I know. But anyway... Remember, we are all in this mess together. So as much as it sucks sometimes, please listen to the, to the people that know what they're talking about, the scientists and the health department people. And I know it sucks to do things like wear a mask and socially distance. But, you know, from what I've seen, it, it's, it's real soon that they're going to start sending out the vaccines so let's just do what we got to do until then to protect one another so that everybody is healthy when everything opens back up and we can go back to normal and hopefully that'll be as soon as they get the vaccines out to all of us but anyway that's my soapbox thing but anyway hope everybody has a great day until next time see ya Chilly. Stay away from the puddle, dipstick.